All right, so here I have drawn a seven by seven, okay? So seven by seven inch square. That's what I want you to start with in your books. You do need to use a ruler. I'm going to be using a ruler today. And the reason we're using seven by seven is because it's an odd number and it's easy to find the halfway mark between it. So the halfway mark is going to be 3.5 inches. We're going to make a mark on all four sides to start our Islamic or Middle Eastern tile design because that's what we're talking about today. All right, now I have marked out halfway between all four sides and I'm going to very lightly, no death grips in this until you are sure what you want your design to be, very lightly going to draw out crosshairs to quarter my main square. Okay? So then I am going to also draw diagonals so I separate it into eighths. I'm going with an eighths design. Okay? I find eighths is the easiest to do. So now I have something that I want to work with. Now we saw some designs that um, worked with different things. You can also do a circle. Okay, you can find a point that you want to work with for a curve, and using your wrist as a compass, start to get a curve happening here. So I'm going to aim for this dot on this line. Notice that my forearm does not move, only my wrist moves. And if you need to flip your book up and down and around to make it good, you can. I'm going to aim for this dot. Make sure your paper is flat. Mm, not quite where I want to go. That's why I'm not going to have a death grip because there are going to be a few mistakes. I am going to flip my book upside down. So now I have a basic circle going. It's not perfect, but it is light enough that I can work with it. So now we have something that has 360 degrees that we can work with, okay? The circle has also been divided into eighths. And if we took out the equation of this, okay, we would have a fourth of our square lift. That This takes up th um, three-fourths right here. So in each of these, we can figure out what we want to do. You could draw from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here, to put another square inside of our circle that's at a diagonal so it makes a diamond. Okay. You can draw lines in between these, so you draw do it into sixteenth and you can do a um, a pointed star in there, okay? There's so many different things to do. So I want you to experiment and see what you can come up with. I'm actually going to go with sixteenths. Hold down your ruler really hard with your left hand or your non-dominant hand. Okay, and from each of these points, I am going to measure out one inch of all these lines I've put in between.
So we talked about reflection, symmetry, balance with this project. Okay. So now I'm just going to freehand it. If you want to copy me, that's fine. I'll accept it. If you want to experiment, even better. So you can start to see how we're symmetrical on both sides. Okay, we have divided it using math terms. It's reflected on any kind of parallel that it needs to be, okay, and it's also radiating out from a central uh, radius right here. So let's see here. How else can I split this? You know what? I think I'm just going to go with this. Going to bolden up the lines from the center point. The whole point of these tiles is to decorate, so they need to be ornate or very, very, very um, beautiful. Okay? So I got my eight point star. I can add petals. add petals and those can be measured out. I can add a border. You know what, I'll make this half and half on each side, so I'll erase that line later. So remember the whole purpose behind this, not only were the people of the Islamic kingdoms very good at math. They created algebra, okay, as a way of doing business. Okay, they also came up with the concept from a Chinese concept of what is zero. Whoops. Come on, light. There is someone in here. Hello. Dude, light, turn on. Thank you. Hey. All right, come on, guys. Go do a dance. There we go. All right, they came up with the concept of zero to stand for nothingness and also negative numbers to stand for debts. Okay, so if someone owed them money, it would be logged into the book as the fact that they owed money. And since their religion said that they could not have any animals or people depicted, Okay, because they could become idols this is the reason why they made these ornate tiles to decorate their um, living spaces, courtyards, 
uh, places of worship, um, just different places in the marketplace, okay? So, that is why that they have these special tiles. They're beautiful. They're mathematical. They like math. Okay, and if you used a certain formula over and over and over again, you could replicate it, link them together, and make even more patterns that way, as you saw in the video. Very interesting people. Not saying that they were saints, because they were conquerors too. Long and difficult history, especially in the Middle East. But they did come up with this. You can also find these kind of tiles in Spain, in Morocco, because the Moors took over those areas. All right, and that is my finished tile, simply starting with a square and a circle, dividing it into eighths and then into sixteenths, and adding a pattern on top of it. If you want to copy mine, fine. You do need to fully color it, okay? You cannot go by with just a pencil one. So I'm going to fully color this. I expect you to fully color yours as well. If you come up with your own pattern, awesome. I can't wait to see if you do that as well. So we'll see what you come up with. All right, bye-bye.